And I'm doing this on watercolour paper, by the way. And it's stretched. Oops, that's got the colour in the brush. So I'm going to wet um, pretty much all the background first, leaving the, uh, the chicken pretty much dry. If it bleeds into the chicken a little bit, I'm not too bothered, but I want to try and keep the shape as best I can of the chicken. Um, whilst we get some of the background on. So this is just plain water, obviously just clean water. Um, and the advantage of doing this is that uh, it will just allow us to go round the chicken without getting too many hard edges. Is the main reason for doing it. Probably could have put a bit of masking fluid on here first if I'd thought about it, but I might just flick some, flick some colours on at the end. Okay, so that's all nice and wet. So I'm just re-wetting this top section where it might have dried out a bit. Now I'm going to come to the front side. Just wet all up here. Around the plumage a little bit. Around the beak. Coming down. I've actually gone into his neck a little bit too far there, but never mind. Might have to block that off. Coming all the way down to the bottom area. Okay, so now I'm just going to drop in some colour or colours, I should say, and just let them run and bleed and do all the interesting things that they can do. So I'm going to take some, um, and I want it to be fairly bright, I don't want it to be a, a timid chicken, so I'm going to take some of my nice bright lime green, and this is going to be pretty bright, so um, my chicken's going to be quite dark, so I want actually the background to be a bit more, um, a bit brighter. I'm just going to tip this a little bit more to get it to bleed a bit more. And I'm just going to get my spray bottle. I want that to move a bit. Just give that a little spray. A bit more green. And I'm purposely putting it in more at the top than, than further down because I want it just to run and bleed rather than um, uh, control it too much. And it's splitting a little bit as well, which is quite nice. So let's just let that move for a moment. Give that another spray. I've got a real green run all the way down through my chicken, which is great. Just mop some of this up. I'm just going to tease it down a little bit more. So I'm trying to direct it away from the from the face so that it runs. Um, oh, going over my chicken there. Don't really want it to do that too much. So I'm now going to tip it the other way and get the ink to run into the ink that I've already put on. So let's just block that up a little bit. So I'm going to tip the board away. So hopefully you can still see that, can you? So it's now about 10, 15 degrees pointed away from me. So the head of the chicken is lower than the lower than the feet and I'm going to take some white ink now and drop that back the other way drop some of that in okay. that moving around Okay, give that a little spray as well. 
So I'm going to put a little bit of burnt umber in places and it's just going to mix with some of these colours that we've just dropped on. And just let it kind of lift it back this way a touch. Don't want it to go too far. Might bring that further down to the bottom now. Might just need to coax it a little bit into around his feet. So I'm just going to put some water on and just get those browns just to creep in to around his claws. Because the claws are sort of a pinky, browny kind of colour. Just to knock the white down a little bit there. Okay. And then I'm just going to mop up whilst it's all wet, just around the edge. And just flick a little bit of gold on. Ah, there we go, it's quite interesting. <laughs> just to add a bit of bling to our, um, our image. Maybe a teeny bit more up here. So I'm just flicking this cocktail stick and it works quite well because um, the paint's not sticking too strongly to it. So there we go, we'll just leave that to, to dry. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of printing with it just to get some texture into this background. So I'm just lifting out some of the paint and it's gonna leave an imprint and I'm gonna wet the plumage area so all the way up, coming round, down towards the eye. I'm not going to paint the eye in just yet, I'm just going to do the orange around the eye. There we go, so we go around the beak and then down into his, goodness knows what you call this, his chin area, <laughs> his chin beard. There you go, all the way down. Right. So I'm going to take a diluted dish. Diluted dish doesn't even make sense. A some ink with some water in it, so that it's not full strength. And I'm going to start at the top up here. So uh, the orangey kind of so coming round. So coming all the way down to his beak, around the eye. So just carefully going around the eye there. Down into his chinny chin chin okay now i'm going to drop into some red now so into that orangey mix i'm going to drop some of the crimson again a little bit diluted not too much water just a little bit and i'm going to bring some of that into this wet wash so it's a bit darker actually in here so we'll drop some of that in down to the bottom. Shape up his headrest a little, his, what do you call it, the plumage a little bit. Because I want the colour that I just put on to start to bleed into his neck um, to link it all together. So we'll just bring some water down the front of his neck and effectively it's it's a very similar color so actually his plumage could come a lot redder than i've painted it which i probably will do in a bit take some more orange oh, don't dip into the wrong one more orange uh, and i might just put a little bit of white actually in that into that same orange so it's not quite so so in your face and start to drop that into his neck a bit more white bring that down all the way 
this is just the first coat, obviously, of colour. We're going to put more colours into this as we go along, just to get the first bit of colour on. So, I'm going to put some more red, actually, into his plumage. It needs a bit more red. I'm going to put a little bit of white with the red, just to make it a bit pinkier. And I'm going to bring that in at the edges. Drop that in. Obviously not through the whole area. I just want certain parts to be a bit redder. So over the eye there is quite quite a nice bit of red. Underneath the um, underneath the eye, a bit darker. Coming down is. Chin. Chinny chin chin area. Okay, so let's let that settle. Next bit then, I want to re wet this part because this is all orangey kind of colours as well. So let's start to creep those colours back into his wing. A nice bit of water on there. All the way through. And let's make this a bit more orange, I feel. It's going to be a very orange chicken, I feel, this one. Um, I'm going to pop some of this colour on. Coming around. There's a bit more water there. Just keep that soft. Bit more water. Coming over these. So these feathers back here near the tail, they're actually curving over quite a lot. I'm trying to suggest them going in a in a more of a rounded direction. Let's bring that all the way down. It'll be a lot darker down there. So I'm going to dip actually into some brown. Put some brown in this mix now. In with the orange. So it's a bit darker. And then start to bring that back this way. And we'll sort that edge out in a second. bits of brown. Hopefully it's still moist enough here to drop those in. A little bit under his chin. So this is going to actually be quite dark. It's almost black, but um, just going to make it wet at the moment and then I'm going to drop some colours into it. And then also in the tail it's very dark as well. So let's just Drop some water on there. I might try a neat brown first of all before we go to our black blacks. So this is just the same brown we had on um, uh, for the ground. So let's bring this all the way up, bleeding those together. So this is very dark in here. Coming down to his legs. And then we'll come up his chest a little bit, not too far. <clears throat> and then just soften all this. Might bleed that out a little bit more actually, so it's a bit more vague. I want to keep this fairly vague down here. We don't want it to be too solid. So plenty of water. Down near the legs. More water in here. Just to bleed those together. 
might even take a little bit of water and just try and get a bit of cauliflowering going on just in here. Just for some variation. Right, more brown into the tail because we I wet that as well, so I need to get some colour on here. Feathers. Bringing this all the way through. That kind of comes over to about there, and then it starts to plume up. So just take some water, pull that out. All the way through, a bit more brown. And let's drop that on the underside of this. So nice and nice and strong, all the way down. Let's blot out a bit through there. A bit there. And then soften that edge off. It doesn't really have a highlight as such in his eyes, so I'm just going to wet the whole the whole area just with some water. Probably too much water actually. Lift some of that out. There we go. Uh, let's see whether that's in the right shape or not, but never mind. So I'm going to take the, it's kind of a yellowy sort of colour through his eyes. So I'm going to take some yellow and some white. Just mix those together. That's quite a pale, quite a pale eye he's got. And I'm going to drop that in all over. into that shape to start off with, okay? So you're gonna have a yellow eye to start with. So I'm just gonna wet the beak again. And I might just use the same, the same lemony kind of yellow for the white and the, and the lemon yellow in his beak. We'll put some of that on there. Oops, that's gone a bit far. Let's try and drop a bit of colour in there. So I'm going to take some brown. Hopefully this won't mess it up. Anything. So some neat brown. But it may go darker still. Actually, it's just flatten that out. I don't want it to bleed downwards. And I'm just going to touch it very lightly in the centre. So I'm just going to clean up the eye a little bit around there, just tidy that up. And I might just blot it off at the bottom, it's got a bit dark there. There we go. So now let's get some more colour into the head area. Taking my slightly larger brush and I'm going to get my red again. <clears throat> Put a little bit of brown in that red. I don't want it to be too quite so red and a bit more variation in it. I'm going to get some of these. I'm going to do this on dry paper now and start to bring in a few of the slightly darker spots within the head area. <clears throat> some of the variation within the um, uh, this sort of <clears throat> plumage so around the eye is darker and that comes down <clears throat> and then we've got a strong dark at the bottom of the eye there 
and then it's darker actually I soften that off it's going to tease that edge out and soften it there a little bit and then take the dark Take the dark underneath the neck line here in the beak as it curves around. <clears throat> and it's actually a bit darker in here underneath the beak. Just going to darken that up. It comes sort of through and then back. And then Bit more brown again where the plumage is meeting the neck feathers it's darker so let's just darken this up comes down and then into the neck itself we're coming down then and then i'm going to put a wash of a lighter brown a bit of white in it Through the area where the, it's kind of tipping away in these feathers. So this is just the burnt umber colour with some white acrylic in it. Just to get this to start to tip, turn the edge. I'll just use my finger just to vary that up a bit. And this comes down with that little spray. A bit more brown and white. Coming in here, to the back of the neck, and that transitions then into the into the wing area. Clean that off. It's a bit solid there, so I'm just going to wipe that away. Get this to come up a little bit higher in those colours. Up into the back of his neck. Spray it again a little bit just to soften it off. <clears throat> and then we'll take that same browny, brown and white into the back of the head. To darken that up. A bit more brown and white here. Where it comes down. Possibly a little dark, but never mind. Lift a bit of that off. Just feather that out, literally. Uh, and then I'm going to put some darks in this patch. I might go with some, I think I need a, a bit of a brighter colour change, so I'm going to go with some turquoise. It's all getting a bit brown and orange and red at the moment, so I need a bit of turquoise. I'm going to put some of that out on my palette. That's a little bit of white in it. Start to drop that into here. In his chest. Get in there. Who doesn't like a blue chicken, eh? Right, come down. Leave some of those little holes, which I'll come back and I'll put some different colour in those in a bit. A bit more of the blue. Take that up into those feathers. Work 
soften off that edge. Work those colours together a little bit, almost blend them together. And then continuing down, a bit more white, perhaps a little bit of the yellow in there as well, just greening up a touch. Just so we've got some colour variation. Coming down his chest, a bit more water. All the way down. A bit more of that colour. Taking it down to about where his legs are. Okay, a bit more of the turquoise, I think. At the bottom. There's a bit stronger colour down here. Okay, and then I'll take some of that turquoise and I want to put some of that in his wing. So I'm going to break into the wing a little bit here, just bleed with some water just to get that edge nice and soft. And I'll also bring some turquoise down into his leg. So just wet it, drop a bit of colour over those browns. And then I'm going to put some colour into his leg. I'm going to wet it first. He's got these funny little hook claws. So we'll put those in. Coming down to the ground. I'm not going to worry about the actual individual claws as such. So I'm going to take some pink and put a little bit of the turquoise in that just to grey it down. So it's sort of a browny, pinky colour. <clears throat> Need a little bit more white up here on that. More turquoise, a bit white. Get some of that on. There we go. Into his legs. Just shake that up a little bit more. Let that dry off. So while that's drying, let's block that a little bit. It's a bit heavy. That's better. I'm going to go back up to the head again. Darken up some of those areas. So I'm going to actually take some, some black now. <clears throat> Put some black on my palette. Take my small brush again. Take the black and the brown. Mix those together. So I get sort of a browny grey. I'm doing this on dry paper. I'm going to go back into the eye, get the central spot. Oh, blimey, that's a bit too much. Still a bit too wet there. I have to let that dry. I have to give that a blast with the hair dry. Let me just do that quickly. I'll drop that into the centre of his eye. Start to darken that up a bit. And I'm going to drop some of the black into the red. So the red and the black together. And then use that in the plumage, in the darker parts of the plumage. Mixing a slightly darker red up. So then this is going to go a lot darker around the eye. Because the eye really, I want that to stand out quite well as the main part of the bird. 
down there. Bit of dark here. Some pretty dark bits there. And down the front. Into the neck. And then more red. A little bit of orange. We'll darken up these a bit more. A bit more tone in here. Coming down. Okay, and then in the body of the bird, I'm going to get some slightly darker brown bits in there. Get some orange in it. It's pretty orangey brown. <clears throat> so particularly down the front here, it's pretty dark. Just start to lay on some of these broken bits of colour. Give the feeling of the um, feathers. Up around the eye, it's pretty dark here. Or darker, I should say. Put a bit of colour in this <coughs> thing there, whatever that is. A bit more underneath the beak. And then we've got some tone in here. Uh, coming down into the chest area. Break that up. And then I want to get a bit more, I feel like I need a bit more dark in the tail area. So I'm going to take my black and put some orange in it. And a bit of red in there and then start to darken up these tail feathers a bit more and what I might do is take a bit of water because I don't want them to be too literal so I'm going to wet part of the tail so the tip of the tail I'm going to wet parts of it and I'm going to take my nice strong colour. Now I'm going to come from the dry area up and then let it bleed out. Okay, just bleed that a little bit more there. Soften this off. Coming down to the back. So I might try that again. So we'll wet this area. Come from the dry area. <clears throat> and then up and then to let it bleed into the wet area. A bit more here. Have some of that coming from under here. You can fiddle with it too much. Just give that a little, little bit of spray just to move it a touch more. And then I'm going to put some water down the bottom here, let all that bleed together. This is all very dark in here. Take some brown as well from the dry area. Just 
just some indications of the feathers there. Might even bring some of the turquoise, just as a bit of variation from this part of the feather and bleed it back. I know it's not, but I quite like the color variation. So a little bit of blue on his tail. Might do a bit more of that actually in some of these. Just to get some color back in there. Clean the brush off. Maybe a bit of blue from this dry in there. Some blue here, just into the back of the feathers, wet that a bit more. <clears throat> okay, and I'm just going to blot off some of these larger puddles of water. Where it's collecting. Like there. Okay, so I need to have a quick dry of that again. I might just put some more red in the plumage actually. Still doesn't feel quite red enough. An even stronger red, I think. some of this. There we go, it's a brighter red. I'm going to work some of this in now around the head as well. Use a slightly smaller brush. So coming over. I'm just going to indicate some of the patterns in the uh, in it. I'm not going to paint them all. Get it a bit stronger up here. Stronger in here. Bleed those together. A bit more water. All the way through. And down. Down into the neck area. More red there. Coming down here. Look nice and strong. <clears throat> Lose a few of these harder edges. Okay. Now, I feel like the background needs a little bit of attention, so I'm going to bring some shapes. I want some darker shapes, I think, here and here. So I'm going to use my brown. Brown and a bit of red in it. Let's wet paper first. So I'm going to wet along the bluer area and then out and along the back and back a bit. Take some brown and just drop it into the center of that area. Just 
just to start to get some of those shapes, a few abstract shapes here. Oops, it's gone a bit far. Just to break this all up. I'll just spray that top bit out. A few dits and dots over here. Link it all together. Spray that tail out a bit more, I think. Okay, just going to pull that out with a pointier brush. So pulling it out into the drier area. Okay. Start to show a few of those feathers or the variation in feathers. Kind of comes up the wing here a little bit. So I'm going to make it browner now in this lower section. So now I'm going to take some a brownie black and run those together. Again, start to pull that, pull this out a little bit into the into the leg. There we are, perhaps a few more bits of that just in in here. So in that chest area, he's got quite a lot of spots of plumage. So we'll suggest some of those. Because they're quite good to give the feeling of um, some form. And we'll have a little bit of this dark up here as well. Wet at first. So in this section, and then I'll break down into the chest and the rest of it in a second. Let some of that turquoise show from underneath. So bring it down into these spots. A few more down here. which will help to show the front of the chest up. Just kind of soften the edges of those a little bit, some water. Just taking the water just to bleed the, bleed the edges out so they're not so sharp. To 
do a little bit of that through here. <clears throat> Oops, that was a big puddle of water. Do you mean to do that? Never mind. Soften these off. Starting to dry a little bit now, so. Just temper some of these edges are a bit sharp. few marks into that wing. A bit repetitive, let's lose that one. Okay. Might just lift out some of that to get some of the blue to show up a bit more. So now let's turn our attention to this side. I need a color that I can put in there. So I'm gonna use some of the orange. And into the orange, I'm going to put some white. <clears throat> I'm just gonna work this edge a little bit now here so that where it's bumping up against the, um, the darker colors, I've got some half tone and some variation here. So we'll bring some of this orange through those areas. And it flattens out on the back. And it goes up. Up, need some brown in there. A bit darker. Go across here, and then it starts to turn turn down. Don't want to try and paint all of those. I just want some indication of indication of the feathers. Just going to soften all that off. A little bit softer where it's meeting the existing color. <clears throat> Bringing it down around the corner. Slightly more yellow. A little bit more white. into these colors. Bringing it down this, the, um, this area, the chicken. Uh, link those together a bit more. bit more orange I feel, maybe a little bit brown in there. This is an orangey brown now because these are darker these, these particular feathers down the bottom here. So get some of these colours in. Again still leaving some of the undercolor to show through. Don't want to lose all of that good stuff. 
we need to get a bit of tone on there. We might even just break out the few marks of that colour here and there. Just to start to add a bit of variation into the background in the, in the painting. A few of those here and there. Might even flick a bit on my cocktail suit. Take some of the orange. <clears throat> Start to break that out a bit. That's a bit through here as well. A little bit in the tail. So I'm trying to direct the spray, so this way I'm directing it back that way. Just to give some variation in the direction of the spray. A bit behind the actual feathers themselves. Okay, I'll have a little bit of that over this side. There we go. And then I might even dip into a bit of white. See if this will work. Might work, might not. And just pick out some of the tips of a couple of the um, couple of the feathers. Don't want to do too many. Just the odd bit of white in the back. Lighter, lighter feathers down here. Let's use a brush for that. Just dipping into the white, just to put a few lighter spots in the uh, feathers. <clears throat> A bit more light on the beak. Might put a bit more of the yellowy colour in the eye, the white and the yellowy lemon, just to brighten the eye up a bit more. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Might just have some few spots of the white. This one coming off of the tail. So again, just some spatter. <clears throat> Oops. <clears throat> A little bit of that in here. If we don't flick it too hard, I'll get very small bits of paint come off. Flick it really hard then you get a lot of paint come off like that. 
<clears throat> a few more bits of white there. Perhaps a bit there. We'll have a few little spots down here on the leg. <clears throat> okay. And then just with one rigger, my last gone. I might just put a few little indications. Got some like grasses. And I dip back into my limey green. water Just take this rigger and then a few squiggles here and there some of those marks here and there, a few little marks up here. A couple on the back here. The odd bit of green flipped just to link the colours together. <clears throat> <clears throat> 